the outline of the shaded figure is formed by a semicircle. So this is the semicircle that they are referring to. And four identical quarter circles. So where are the four identical quarter circles? There's one here that's in white, and then one here that's in grey, one more here, and one more in white. So these are the four identical quarter circles, and there are two straight lines over here. A. Find the area of the shaded figure. B. Find the parameter of the shaded figure. Take pi equals to 3.14. Now, let's find the area of the shaded figure. First of all, you need to look at these four parts here. They actually form four radii, the small semicircle. So if I were to find one part, the length of one part, it will be 80 divided by 4, which is 20 centimeters. Same goes to the middle one, 20, 20, and 20. And since the four small quarter circles are identical, I'm going to do a shift by moving this quarter circle to this part. And then same goes to the other one. I'm going to do a shift as well to the unshaded portion. And you notice what happens when I shift it. It forms a rectangle with length of 40 centimeters. And the width of 20 centimeters. So to find the area, I just have to take the area of the big semicircle, subtract the rectangle that's in the middle. So let's do that now by finding the area of the semicircle, half times pi, which is 3.14. The radius is 40 because the diameter divided by 2 is 40 and I get 2,512. Now this is the area of the semicircle. Next, I will find the area of the rectangle that's in the middle by taking length times breadth, 40 times 20, I get 800. Now the last step, I just need to subtract the rectangle from the semicircle. So I'll take 2,512, subtract 800, I get 1,712. And that's the answer for A, 1,712 square centimeters. Now, part B, find the parameter of the shaded figure. So there are two parts to the diagram. First is the semicircle that we have to find. That's part one. Second, if we were to combine this four quarter circles, one quarter here, and the second quarter, the third quarter, and the last quarter here, if we combine all of them together, it actually forms a complete circle. So we're going to find that complete circle. Next, we have to add this two radii over here, which is 20 and 20 centimeters. So that's the third part. So let's jump straight in to find the parameter. First of all, we're going to find the semicircle. So that's half times pi and the diameter is 80. So I get 125.6. Next, number two, I have to find a complete circle that's in purple. So that would be pi times 
be careful because the diameter has changed. The diameter in that circle, you just have to add two radii, which is 20 plus 20, gives you 40. And that is 125.6 again. The last step, we just have to add this 20 and 20, which is 40, into the sum of this two. So let us do the last step. 125.6 plus 125.6 plus 40. And that gives me 291.2. And that's the answer to my part B, 291.2 centimeters.